This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers. Okay, we now shall we start <laughs> so, again? We got a uh, verification of recording. So let's start. Let's let's start this. We are at seven thirteen. The meeting has been called the order of the East Hampton Community Garden. Uh, committee. I'm Stephen Linsky. I'll be facilitating the meeting. Um, present at the start of the meeting is Frank Johnson, Mark Leonis, Ted Stock, Eric Sjoka, Karen Zamoski, and uh, Margie Phillips in order of appearance. Um, we will um, um, get to our uh, agenda items presently. I wanted to take an opportunity before we start any further to thank Eric particularly for kind of coming in in the, in the lurch uh, these last couple of months where we kind of transitioned from in-person to Google Meet. Uh, and and um, thank you, Eric, for uh, facilitating the meeting and taking the minutes. Uh, now, I think, I hopefully everyone saw uh, uh, the inclusion of uh, the agenda and the minutes and the treasurer's report as part of the notice. We can flash to them later, but I particularly uh, uh, thanks to uh, to Eric for that. Um, we move now to the public comment period. Um, I do not see a member of the public present. Uh, so um, uh, unless there is a member who wants to speak up, um, we will move on to uh, acceptance of the minutes um, that were generated by Eric uh, from our last meeting on August 4th. I, I know in on Google how one can kind of post, uh, and I'm sure there's a way of doing it. So I mean, I, I let me just put it up. Let me just get the minutes up and see. Does anyone see that? I I, I oh, can I no. see it? No. Oh, yes. no, no, no. I don't think I don't think you would. So it's up on my screen. I. Eric, do you have any idea about I'm how one? Uh, uh, hold on, let me just see. It. Yeah, there should be a share screen option, maybe under those same three dots. Uh, yeah, I'm looking now. Uh, otherwise, Man? next to the hang up and mute buttons, there might be one for share screen. Also, I'm using this from a phone, so my layout is completely different than what yours yeah, is. You're going to have a different interface. Hey, yeah. I, um, I'm seeing there's a present now. Could that possibly be it? Um, where's that, Frank? Um, I'm looking at the menu on the bottom. There's the hang up, the red button, the, then the yeah. uh, more options, and then next to it, the box with the arrow. Oh, I see. Present now. All right, hold on. Let me just try Give it. Give it a shot. And I'm just going to go on record at the city switching to this from Zoom that we've been using for two years. And knew how to use idiotic. Yeah. Well, I, I'm saying it, 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 it was a cost issue. So let's see. It okay, a, it's so not that I've expensive. Hit, I've hit the price. Yeah, I didn't know that Google that much, but anyway. So under this option, I have an option of my entire screen or a window. I'm just going to hit window, and let's see. I'm going to create a window. Allow Google Meet to see your screen. Okay, I'm going to allow that. Oops. Select window screen. Uh, so you select a window that has the minute in it. Yes. Um, hmm. <laughs> Meet. I, 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 it's, giving, it's giving me options, which is my inbox. My inbox, which is my Outlook inbox, I don't want that. I would not. My, that. my East Hampton Community Garden Mozilla meet, and then it says 9-1 meeting message, and then the other option is entire screen. Uh, uh, do you have the, the minutes already open in another window? I have them. Well, that's what I just, that's what I just did a second ago. I opened it. Okay. So now it shows on my screen. Are you, do you think that? Uh, oh. And I'm assuming it shows on no one else's, right? Yeah, not until you choose a window. 
8422. This is not giving me the option of that particular window. Well, I'll volunteer, I'll volunteer to read a minute out loud. You know, right. I mean, <laughs> if, if everyone had the opportunity to review them, and, they, and if you want to look at the email that I sent out, the last notice that I sent out today, they included uh, the amended uh, minutes that included Eric's. Um, do people want to take a minute to look at that? You should be able to, you should all have it. Yeah, I've, I've looked them over. It's a little bit much, I think, to read the whole thing. Eric, Eric took good minutes. Yeah. I, uh, um, if folks have had that opportunity to review uh, and, they, and they were present at the meeting, so that would exclude you, Karen, excludes me. Um, I think that's all it excludes. We can now vote on uh, adoption of the minutes. Is there a... Is okay, there, I'm going to adopt the minutes. Okay, hold on a second. second. Okay, uh, Frank uh, has Frank move. Is that you, Mark? Who second? Who seconded? It was Eric. I did. Oh, okay. oh Eric did. Okay. Couldn't see you. That's why. Okay. All in favor, say aye. 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 All those. I hear none. Minutes are adopted unanimously. Wow. I like that. Nice to know we're on the same page. Now, let me get the heck out of this thing that I'm, I'm trying to, hmm. <laughs> At least we can still see you and hear you. That's a good sign. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I see. Everybody's frozen on my screen. Nobody's moving. Oh, oh you got a frozen screen. Yeah, you're, and your signal might be getting weak, Margie, because right now I can see people moving around. Okay, indicates that an, just, error, an error occurred during screen sharing. Okay, now I'm off of that screen sharing. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> now, now we can move on. Um, Amen. Um, treasurer's report. We turn now uh, to our treasurer. That's not. Okay. Uh, you all got a copy of the treasurer's report? Uh, nothing yes. much going on in the month of August. Uh, the uh, petty cash, no change. And uh, essentially, uh, we have had no other changes uh, that were due during the month of August. So we, we do have a bill coming up. I don't have your report in front Excuse of me. me. <laughs> I don't have your report in front of me. What's our balance in our account? Could you tell me? Okay. Uh, the balance in the city uh, garden account is $3,209.37. Um, $1,790.68 of that is unallocated. The rest is in our uh, purchase order. So our Ultimately, our balance is more close to seventeen hundred. Is that right? Once these bills have been paid, well, well, no, no that's those aren't bills to be paid. That's that's just money no, that's available no. in the various okay. purchase orders. So it's yeah. if we so need it's kind it. of it's kind yeah. of restricted yeah. as we just need restricted then the uh, yeah. In other words, Mark, and we, you know, I think everyone, if they could get the, again, get the notice out that has the attachments, including the treasurer's report to review. And I think what Ted is saying, which is not unusual, Ted, in August, think about it, we have very few new people coming. It's, it's a rarity. It's kind of late in the season for that. So we don't have the income change. Uh, and unless we're spending something and we haven't had any expenditures this month i think right frank you would well there will be ted's gonna have to you know there... it's gonna be it's gonna be yeah, there September. Well, we had a... so we, everything we is have... I'll, I'll get that the operations. we did have one new person though pay the twenty dollars oh okay in, in yeah. august yeah so but it's on your i wasn't con i wasn't concerned about income or outgo it was more a matter of what balance we have in case there's some capital costs that we need to face yes. yeah uh going forward 
So uh, Ted's point on that, Mark, was that, you know, as you know, at the beginning of each season, we allocate certain monies into accounts uh, with vendors that we may use in the course. I, I, understand, I understand. Yeah. I understand that. Yeah. So yeah. it's kind of like dead money sitting there. It, 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 may or may not, it may or may not get spent. It's just available if it's needed to be spent in those areas. Right. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think I might have mentioned at the last meeting when, when the question came up, uh, we did not go through a process at the beginning of the year, uh, to the best of my knowledge, at any meeting where we decided what those amounts would be. We just carried forward exactly what was in these purchase orders from the previous year and just rolled them into mm -hmm. this year. And we add to them as we need to. Uh, we, we, so we're, we really haven't budgeted them. We just carry, them, carry it forward and um, sort of adjust the budget or what, as to our needs as we go along. Yeah, that's right. And, and, and Ted, because those allocations had been approved mm -hmm. in the previous year, yeah, and the balance is carried over, and they were sufficient. The only thing that would happen at that point was that we would have to vote to change the allocations, no more or less, etc. We we haven't had the occasion this year to need to do that. But but I think yeah, there was yeah, the we did for worry, is we that we have a fair amount of money that sits outside of even those allocations that are that's available uh, in, in case we have a capital need that, that comes up. Yeah, I mean, I think most of the expenses that we have had have been have been able to be done through the purchase orders that we already have. Uh, yeah. And we have added to those as we've gone on. Uh, there was one with the Bear Path Compost LLC uh, that only has $60 in it. And we decided to keep that in there because it's a pain in the neck to, if we needed to use them again, to r try to reopen the purchase order. Um, and go through that process. Um, so we. Yeah, what I'm. What I'm foreseeing is that we're going to, okay. at some point before very long, have to put out a significant chunk of money to replace hoses and nozzles because there's so many that are defective in the garden system right now, and that's kind of what was on my mind. Okay. okay. If where would we get them? Uh, I guess that's the question. Uh, if we, Frank, if we Frank has a good idea from, from tractor supply or anything right, like right. that, we would we would have to open up a purchase order. Correct. So we exactly. would not have to know how much we wanted to allocate to that purchase order, and just add it. Yeah, to we'll have we'll have to do an assessment of of what we actually need, and then come to you with a request for a purchase order. Is um that said? Is there uh if there are are there any additional questions? And if not, uh, the floor is open for um, a motion for, uh, to adopt the treasurer's report. So moved. Second. Okay, there's been a motion moved to uh, approve, seconded. All in favor of adopting the treasurer's report, say aye. I see everyone there. Uh, Is there anyone opposed? I see none. Treasurer's report is adopted, and uh, and we should pick up that discussion, Mark, when, when Frank maybe talks about operations. That said, um, you know we can purchase through Oberton. They have hoses and they have nozzles, and we can go right into that, go right into that account too. Okay, that does bring us to Frank and operations. Nice segue there, Stephen. <laughs> um, I uh, let's just start with the hoses since that's where we can. I had other things on my list, but um, yeah, I would like to try and open a PO with tractor supply, uh, even though they're across this the, the city line. Um, I want to get these flexzilla hoses, and I'm not gonna buy a ton of them, but I want to get. Nobody else sells them. Uh, well, Aubuchon doesn't sell them, and I'd rather at least work with with Tractor Supply because they're next door. Um, they're good hoses. 
um i'm using one there's one it's down by my neighbors me and my neighbors at the bottom um on uh row d it's an awesome hose i i don't want to buy I, I would like to buy like four of them and try them out they're about forty dollars a pop i just want to make sure they're going to last at least a couple of, well I'd like to see them go through a full season before we commit to them, but they're nice hoses, man. And uh, the nozzles, I can still go get some more at Albuquerque, but they seem yeah. to be more like disposable lighters. Um, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Right. I, and, I got a, yeah. I got a, I got a question for you, which is I my guess is, and we haven't really done a formal assessment that there's more than four hoses that need to be replaced. So, if you want to go a full season, I think we're going to have to buy some conventional ones once we do an assessment of which hoses are, are not fully functional because there, are, right. there seems to be a, a number of them. And similarly, as you say, with the, the hose nozzles, which seem to not last very long for whatever yeah, reason. Yeah, I, I think the hoses that are hanging, it's probably more the, the, the sprayers than the hoses themselves. The one by you is 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 obviously needs to be replaced. Um. But it's it's more it just be nice to find a nozzle that was actually good that lasted. Um, and Marge, you say something? What? Oh, nothing. I thought I heard you. Oh, I chuckled. Something. But but I do have something. The hose by my garden. I feel terrible every time I use it because we're in a drought and this thing just leaks profusely down at the bottom and i i don't know what that is is it missing a washer or two or is i think i showed you frank do you remember that yeah because it's like in a drought now and this this thing is like pouring out what feels like gallons of water every time i water okay i'm just writing it down um and so yeah anyway let's stick on the hoses for a minute just and not get off into one here or there i'd like to get a few of those and and try them use them for a season we'll get the other ones keep get everything functional um and i may i may ask for some help with this because i'm starting to feel a little overwhelmed I'll, just, I'll, vol I'll volunteer to help you yeah just with that and mowers and string trimmers i mean that's that's a whole other topic in terms of this operations position but um would you like me to uh open up or try to get a purchase order started i would tractor supplies I, I, say yeah. three hundred dollars is that enough do you think or yeah and it's probably you know what let me um let me go let me go there and price them i want to because I, I i know specifically I'd like to get four. I don't want to go more than that because they're not cheap. I mean, no hose is cheap, but, um, and if I see like, if they look like they have sturdier nozzles there, then maybe 300 would be a good place to start. Just because you, like you were saying earlier, it's a pain in the butt to, to move the money back once yeah. it's, once it's been allocated. So I, let me, let me go there and, price them because we're not going to need they just need to be 50 foot hoses and yeah. uh because i i really if these things work the way the ones work and that i've been able to use and it's like a hundred footer or 75 footer it's it's really long um they're awesome hoses i mean i bought one for my house and it's it's been wonderful uh so let me go there and then I'll, I'll, I'll go there tomorrow or Saturday and kind of check out what other stuff they have because the stuff at Aubuchon right now it, to me is just the nozzles are, I don't want to say they're, they're disposable. I'll be polite. So, um, but yeah, Mark, I may hit you up on that and help me out with the hoses and stuff. You got it. I've been thinking about that. We could do a maybe this fall do an assessment of which ones yep. need need replacement. Um I did send so 
switching from hoses. I did send uh, some emails out to people who seem like they might have disappeared. Um, I was diplomatic with a couple, and I wasn't as diplomatic, but still, I, I wasn't mean uh, with others. You know, I, I, I'd say I was direct. And uh, so we'll see what responses we get. Uh, I, I think probably, Margie, I may write up something. So just about everybody in general, you know, to weed. Because uh, it's, it's everybody needs to do some in their gardens. I mean, maybe a handful of people don't. Uh, but I'd say the majority of people could, could, could do it. Because it's going to... Everyone's going to get busy again with the work. A lot of folks are anyway in September, and they're just going to forget about that. And the weeds will not stop growing in September. You know, all we're going to need is a normal September, and they'll keep going. And this is when everything's going to be going to seed. And that was the part of the emails I sent out was things are high, the seeds are blowing in the neighbor's plots, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we did get string trimmers repaired. Well, one repair, and uh, and then I bought string. I bought a spool of string, and figured out how to put it in there. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see how well it works. Frank, Frank, oh. I, tr I I used one of the string trimmers the other day. I got it started, and uh, that's good. Yeah, good to have one that works. <laughs> Was that the one where the 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 piece had been missing, or the yeah, the little blue the little blue switch? Yeah, it was. I guess they replaced it at Flurries. Yeah, yeah, no, they and they got that done. Aubuchon did. I mean, no, Aubuchon. Um, the Floyd Performance. They they got that. The turnaround on that was really quick. Actually, I got to give them props. They did a nice job. Um, so thanks. String trimmers are working again. Uh, let's see what else. Da, 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 there's not too much more. I have a couple of other people. Um, Lenita has started mowing, and I ran it to Phil in D12 and showed him how to use the mower. And there's a couple other people who are also interested in mowing. So yeah, I, I, I will have those folks come back. We'll have a nice mow team for next year. Which will be Excellent. very nice. Excellent. Yeah, things kind of slow down a little bit with the with the drought, but as far as the grass growing, it wasn't like last year where it was you could stand there and watch it grow. <laughs> um, I think that's it, really. I'm looking at my list. I think I got everything here. Yeah, we're good. Unless anybody has any questions. Thank you, Frank. Um, that brings us to our outreach team, starting with our, oh, look, Eric's now visible. We always start with our internal outreach, and that's you, Marty. I don't know if you're muted. It doesn't show that you are, but I don't hear you. No. Does anyone hear her? No. Yeah, no. Margie, you're not muted either. Strange. That's interesting. Yeah, we heard her before. <laughs> I don't know. know. Margie, Jim, did... Can you check your, us. your mic, maybe? Can she hear us? Apparently. Now, now it shows that she is muted. Yeah. So, so let's see you... if she can unmute. Margie, try try unmuting. Yeah. She's had trouble with her signal for weeks. Mm -hmm. Actually, she didn't have internet for a while. Why don't we do this? Uh, let's let's Eric. Let's move on to you, and we'll come back to Margie. Okay. 
Um, well, I don't have much to, to add. Um, Facebook, I got a little bit behind. I did post the photos of the donations uh, collectively. I think two weeks worth. I posted them all at once. Um, posted the meeting minutes. Um, that's that's been about it. Thank you for uh, dealing with me when I went offline for about a week and didn't respond to emails, e even with people directly asking where I was. Um, yeah, uh, thankfully the 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 minutes got d delivered eventually. So um, nothing planned to do for the next month. Just uh, telling people what needs to be done. You know, delivering messages and. Uh, Getting people ready for, for uh, shutting down the garden. If we have uh, any articles that anybody has, good articles about shutting down the garden, uh, I, I would like to post something like that. It doesn't need to be us specifically, but uh, we can start getting that information out there to people just as casual reads. Uh, and also anything about uh, cover crops, winter crops, anything like that. Uh, people can start thinking about that because you'll probably want to buy the seeds and have them ready for first frost once it gets here. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, Eric, I think we actually might have some oats still in the shed. I'd have to look, but we yeah, have. Yeah, I was, I was going to ask um, about that. Is that typically supplied for us or is that donated by one of the We gardens? have, I, um, uh, They've been there for like two years, I think. Okay. Uh, are oats after frost or before frost? Before frost will knock them out. So like if you had, like if you were pulling stuff up, like I'm, I'm looking at my carrots, I'll probably start harvesting them. Uh, if I harvested that row, then I would plant oats now. Okay. And they'll, they'll do pretty well up until the frost and it'll knock them off. Okay. And then, Typically, after oats, uh, after frost, can winter rye be put in, or? Yeah, rye. I would read up on rye before I used it. Okay. All right. I'll 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 do some research. I'll put something out there. I, uh, yeah. Right. Margie, are you back? I changed browser. Oh. I, I was on... Um, Mozilla and it just wasn't working and I got a message saying I can't use visual effects in this browser which made me think I should go to Google because this is a Google Meet. Uh, that, uh, <laughs> really yeah. Yeah, and it, it, stopped. <laughs> it all cut out before I actually changed it. So when it cut out I knew I had to do something so I'm back. And hey. I, I, hey. I didn't have internet or my landline for six days. Right. Uh, but then it's been back and it goes out now and then, but it comes right back again. It's not too bad. Um, there's not much. You can all hear me now, I'm assuming. We yep. can, yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, not much to report, except that everybody's, everybody's turning their camera off or just disappearing. I keep getting... No, we're all on. No, I'm, I'm here. So, sums up with this because no. now I only... Tag at me. Uh, as long as we can, hear, we can see and hear you, and that's that's we what matters. We can see and hear you, Marty. So just keep going. You're fine. Weird, man. Anyway, only C12 is open, and half of B8. And I think is that isn't that your garden, Ted? Uh, one half of B8 is. Yeah, it's open. Uh, I, I'm in one half. Yeah, that's what I mean. Easy left. The, the other half has been abandoned. Yeah, well, Phoebe uh, left. She didn't abandon it. She... Oh, she it's left. Right. She, had, she had to leave. Would, so, yeah, would you like me to go in there and at least uh, I have my little uh, electric-powered weed whacker and cut some of that stuff down and at least get it down to the ground? Or we could mow it. I mean, that stuff right now, that type of grass, would be a really good project. It, it, that stuff's easy to weed right now, and it's just that nutgrass stuff before it sees it. It's I can't. I I would like to say I I would go do it, but I know I'm gonna. I have so many other things I need to do, but we can mow it at the very least. 
but that stuff would be easy to pull up right now. Uh, Karen, you're in luck. You're not going to be neighbors. I, I just got an email. Cool. Karen, did you hear me? No, she's in and out. Karen? Oh, she... Yeah, your signal's kind of wonky, too. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'll, Karen, I'll, we, we can talk later or email. I don't like this Google Meet. I don't like it, it at all. I don't, I don't like it. None of us like it. <laughs> well, I was told it's so easy. It's, it, it, it is, but, like, I've used it. Periodically, I have a, a colleague who likes to use it from home, and it sucks. The signal is, is the signal breaks up. I, I'm with, I'm with Eric. we they use us as guinea pigs. Google does, and then when they're done with us, they just release us from the cage into a world that we're not ready for. Is that about right, Eric? That's about that's a good enough metaphor. Yeah. Or they're using us to test their products that they can use it internally. We're the, we're the best <laughs> testers in the world. <laughs> then they'll start charging for it. Damn it. I want money for my data. They're using my data. I want to cut. Karen, we'll talk later. Uh, I have another. Well, I have another. So, one thing I noticed too is that unlike um, Zoom, there doesn't seem to be a Oh, there is a chat function. So, oh, I see. Karen, since we're going to have difficulty, apparently, with your um, audio, can you access that? Oh, I see. Okay, I got chat up. Oh, yeah, actually, I saw your earlier chat come in here. Now I see it. So you might want to write out a little bit about what you're reporting. We're not at you yet. We still have a, we're going to do a donation garden with Mark first. But um, if you can access that, then maybe we can proceed. Anyway, um, uh, donation guard. Mark, do you mind if I just sure Mark, do you mind if I say something real quick for Karen? Go Karen, ahead. just go down to the menu at the bottom, and there's a CC. Yeah, if you click on that, it's going to give you. It's just going to spit back everything everybody's saying in front. Wow. So even even if your mic isn't working. Uh, I'll be, we'll be able to tell what you're saying. We should be doing that anyway for oh, our, uh, I don't... Uh, um, by the way, Frank, I'm not seeing what you just told Karen. Where, where are we, where is that CC you were talking about? Uh, it's, if you look on the menu at the bottom, there's a, the raise your hand hand right beside it. There's a small, there's a little square box of two seats. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, that's for close, turn yeah, on that's captions. For the I see. Oh, cool. Oh, captioning. Cool. Oh, yeah, thank you. I now see it. Oh, so that's a feature that Zoom doesn't have, I don't think, or does it? Any of that. Okay, well, Margie is setting Google straight right oh, now as we speak. So hey, there you go. You call Margie. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. You're a girl. All right, oh, Mark. Okay. I don't like this Oops. CC thing. I'm turning mine off. <laughs> okay, good. All right, you ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, donations are going great this year. I mean, we're so fortunate because everybody's such an abundant season, and uh, I'd say that both of the uh, uh, coolers are full uh, on Sunday night, or they're shortly thereafter. In the last few weeks, that I noticed, lots of kale uh, from the donation garden itself. We've had kale. We've had a lot of tomatoes. The tomatoes came in well. We had a good crop of beans for a while. They're all done now. We've had cucumbers and and uh, summer squash. That was done a month ago. But um, and we still have some whole beans and some more kale and some peppers. So yeah, stuff coming in. But what's really encouraging is that it looks like people, even their gardens, are are donating their ec their extra produce and and put it filling up the uh, the cooler. So I think we're doing well with that. Oh oh, by the way, too. I, for, for fun, I showed Margie. I granted, I planted uh, some potatoes this year, and 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 they're starting to come in. And I got a good sized potato already. So, 
Oh, wow. Uh, that was fun to do. Yeah, I just going to experiment. And the potato bugs didn't seem to descend on them, so that was good news. Right. Well, so, I'm, uh, I'm, you know, I'm, on a, I'm on a potato diet now, Mark, so whatever you've got there, I'll take. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, that's interesting, Steve. It's, it's, like, it's, it's like, like good food egg hunting, hunting underground. I always I like it. Lots, mm. lots of French fries. So anyway, uh, yeah, I'd say it's going well. Uh, people are, are, put, are kicking in and helping out. Uh, Kaylin and uh, I told me she shared that she'd been doing some work voluntarily. And so we're, but long term, as I've shared with others, I, I really think um, someone else needs to take that over. And I'll be happy to be on the committee going forward, but I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to manage it because it just feels like volunteer to get people to, to yeah. actually chip in and, and give some time for uh, the watering and the reading that needs to be done. So I think we need to either rethink the whole thing or, or find some commitment somehow from people who are really going to not just say they're going to do it, but really going to do it. So that's, those are my thoughts for now about donation. And, and just a quick one, Autumn's been great at picking up the produce and taking it in on Wednesday. So that's been really helpful. I guess that's uh, it. What? Yeah, that's great. Um, Frank, uh, Mark, let me just see if I understand, because you were saying earlier that you've noticed that we have, you know, very full coolers on sun, you know, over the weekend when people have been putting it in on Sunday. Uh, have they been, have those been delivered on, as best as you know, have they been delivered on Monday or is it, or have they been delivered on Wednesday? I'm assuming that they're getting delivered on Monday. Autumn had said that she works, she volunteers there on Mondays and Wednesdays, as it turns out. So that, that she, okay. you know, from the get go, had been the what the pick person and I've not heard from her. Although her garden looks not well tended at this point. I don't know if she's phasing out or what, but you know, she's was very helpful for Yeah, that's for terrific. Many so I mean I guess the other point is that you you don't see um, stuff in the coolers like on you know later on Monday or Tuesday, or whatever, it's lingering from the weekend. You haven't seen that. So I have I don't, I don't really check it. No, I don't check it. I just I check it on Sunday night because I've had a pretty good yield in my garden, able to share some stuff. And then I, and Margie's been there too. She's put a lot in and maybe others of you as well. So they, they look relatively full on, on a Sunday night. That's great. Well, kudos to uh, August. Uh, okay. So, um, so at some point, yeah. Stephen, just one last thing, you know, people will decide what you want to do about donation garden going forward, because I think that needs to be talked about maybe, maybe in the fall. I don't know, you know, just to be on the agenda. Who's, are we going to do it? And if so, what's the protocol for making sure that it gets taken care of and there's enough volunteers who are active? Long standing issue. All right, thank you so much, Mark, for your report. Karen, thank you for your, Karen has put something in the chat, but I also noticed, Karen, and it shows that you are muted. So maybe try unmuting just for a second and see if we can get a direct audio line now. Okay, you're unmuted. You want to try an, uh, your audio? Okay. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, it's very spotty. Yeah, it's kind of bro broken. Okay. Karen, you're here. Uh, Can you hear me? Uh, you're, yeah, okay, you're actually showing up in the, in the close captioning. I, I, do you know what browser you're on? Okay. I'm on uh, Firefox. 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 Oh, that's, oh, yeah, that's, 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 that's from Mozilla, isn't it? Yeah, that's Mozilla. No. That's why I, I am too, and, I, and it's been fine, but. Well, let me, for the record, let me read Karen's um, mm -hmm. chat book, and we'll pick up from there. Um, she reported that she has some perennials to add to the to the pollinated garden. Uh, need to knock down weeds at the edge and cover with some cardboard and wood chips and could use a little help with that. Well, we certainly have the wood chips. Uh, um, um, and I know Frank's yeah, yeah, it's, it looks great. So plenty of wood chips, and that's probably the easier thing to do than just, you know, including the cardboard I need. 
Um, so um, we have a little okay. addition on that. But what are two things about getting frost blankets? Uh, and uh, we've got uh, some seed from some saved kale and carrots now for the second year. Uh, so, so that's nice. We do have. There was a new gardener, Margie. You probably remember this individual, young uh, a young guy, who was all into about building up a seed library. Remember that? I do remember. Okay, go that. Back into... I don't remember his name. Um, yeah, I could dig up maybe. Was it Jacob? Maybe. Possibly, yeah. Loja? That sounds. So, um, so I mentioned it only because maybe Karen, we could help connect you a little. Um, C nine um, is open. Uh, you know, you weren't aware of that, Marty, and apparently, uh, let's see. When when did that open up? Uh, about Laura? Uh, Margie, about 10 minutes ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, literally, we're, we're working That's breaking with news story. <laughs> wow. Okay. You never know what you're going to get in these meetings. Breaking news. Uh, I know, you know, the, the Karen shows up for the meeting and look at there. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, my God. I thought I dropped the ball. I just got no. I just got a response from the email. So, um, so Frank, I'm, I take it that this is one of the plots that you were talking about uh, in terms. It of is. It, it is, and now it's. It will be. Now it's. Will be taken care of. They're going to come in and clean their things out of it because it's a couple of pieces of furniture and uh, a couple other things they need to get take out. No. It's all good. Well, I mean, this, I mean, this, what, what you've been observing, uh, you know, reflects again, another longstanding issue and, and, and another reason why keeping a healthy, um, waiting list, um, part of it is that, so for instance, C9 is a nice lot, huh? It is. Uh, and if there's someone, even if it was late in the year, there's someone who, you know, can make what they can of the rest of the season, but more importantly, prep for next season. It's a great opportunity to do that, and it saves us the angst of all weeding and all that kind of stuff that uh, we're about to face in September, as you pointed out, Frank. So um, I don't know, Margie, whether or not there's anyone left or lingering. Oh, no. Stephen Karen, is going to take that plot. Oh, we're going to put a plot. We're going to put C2. Oh, I heard you say that it was a neighbor. I didn't know that. Oh, Karen, great. No, no, C2 has to be uh, weeded okay. again, like for thistle anyway. We can mow the rest of it, and then we're going to put it to sleep like we did on uh, D1 because of thistle. I see. Okay. Oh, one more. And I already have, I already have, some, I already have some decent chunks of cardboard from, from work. Um, so we're going to have to put out a call for cardboard again and then get a work party together. Oh, that's terrific. Okay. Well, that takes care of C9, doesn't it? Goodness. And, and C12, um, the one that's open, um, we talked at the in-person meeting that it needs some earth because it's very gravelly. Uh, it needs to be, yeah. You know, so we'll, we just we'll probably need to pull, we need to pull the high weeds and then we can mow it. Um, but yeah, that, 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 the previous owners removed inches of topsoil for some bizarre reason you know, i was gonna ask I, I still don't are we planning to do something about the soil or are we just waiting for someone who wants a plot um i can't answer that right now what would help it would, regenerate okay. the soil i would prefer that when we order compost in the spring i think we should just if somebody wants to take it now, if we have somebody come in, we could talk about maybe donating a yard compost to put in it. 
um, for whoever gets it when we buy compost next year. It it needs it, it needs a little regeneration for sure. That's good. That's a good idea. Yeah, those will be some leaves, Marjorie, right? And it's not it's not it's not expensive remedy either. Yeah, leaves would work. Right. I got to collect them, and that is, uh, you know, I got enough cloths to collect leaves for. That's very uh, labor intensive work. Yep. Can, can we get free leaves from the city? Do they do they clear leaves or something? What do you think? Um, off property. Yeah, off property. I mean, you, you, have, even if you take some more. from. You don't know. Leaves are not that big an issue. I don't want anyone's grass. You don't want what, Frank? I don't want people. Leaves might not be an issue, but even then, they take a long time to break down unless they've been chopped up. Um, I don't want anybody's grass because I don't know what they. We don't know. We don't know what they put on their yards. Um. And if they're using any kind of, either having their yard sprayed with anything that's weed killer or or uh, pesticide, uh, especially the weed killer, that stuff persists, and um, it will create what you call killer compost. Even grass that horses have eaten that's sprayed with 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 weed killer. It goes through the digestive system, it goes into the compost, it composts, and it still persists and kills whatever you put it on. Yeah, welcome to the world of killer compost. <laughs> Thank you, Monsanto um, and Dow. So, yeah, Bar as you know, is typically either gardener feedback, uh, new business. Uh, and I think we might have a little combination. I was wondering if anyone, we, we have a, perhaps the beginnings of what some committees might call like a long range planning group, you know, looking bigger picture, longer period of time. And I know that there was uh, earlier in the week, some folks did convene in person. It was not, uh, probably a very nice, but I'm sorry. I, I just can't, I never know evening to evening about what I can do. That, that's fine, that, and that's okay. Doing 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 this is, is very good. Always anything else. Any event, I didn't know if anyone wanted to speak about that or anything from the record or whether we just kind of continue, that group continues to talk out um, things. But, you know, it's, when I say long range, it's like with an eye toward, you know, what we're going to do from the outset next year to try to address some of the longstanding issues like people leaving, which happens, but... Um, I don't mind talking about it. A bit. So, uh, floor, floor is open for the, we'll call it gardener feedback. Before we move okay. on, can I just clarify something? Um, I think I just want to make sure I'm going to send an email to the community regarding the pollinator plot, Karen, and tell them that um, help is needed urgently. I'm also going to send an email asking who it was that talked about the seed library. Stephen, did you have um, a reason for bringing that up? I don't think we we got into that. No, I only, if you look at what, no, Karen mentioned uh, about her pulling together some seeds, and it just reminded me that we did have someone who had an oh. interest in participating in that. Okay, so, uh, all right, so maybe I should Put that in touch with Karen if I get a response. I think uh, I think it's probably captured in uh, our minutes from last year. Uh, I'll look, you know, about about that. We had an interest. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Frank was going to talk about. Okay, now Gardner Viva. Yeah. Okay, I, I did. So I'll start off talking about the, the informal meeting, and then anybody else who was there can chime in. Uh, it, it was really 
I think for Docker, and there are people who want to. We we would actually create a couple of new positions. Uh, one would be someone in charge of uh, compost, and Alyssa wants to continue to research uh, accessibility at the garden. Mm -hmm. uh, what that would entail, um, you know, how 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 deep a dive we really have to do on that, because there's a lot of there, there are legal issues. There are a number of different things uh, that would come to play, and, and also realistically, what we could do, given the terrain that we have uh, to deal with at our garden. And again, there was talk of 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 maybe uh, future community gardens on over near Clark Street, which would be. A, Make much more sense in terms of accessibility. If that was just one thing, we a couple things, um, a couple things I mentioned earlier. We talked. We were thinking about changing some language in the uh, in the uh, application uh, to to address various issues. One is just non cultivation of, of you know having a plot but not cultivating something I mentioned earlier, and. Um, and then also Deb has volunteered to put a Google sheet together for uh, jobs and projects that people need to do for their 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 service hours towards the the garden. And I brought up the point of maybe not necessarily having a mission statement, but certainly communicate to the gardeners. And, and to put this in the application that this is a community garden and is for the community, but it also is a community in that you need to contribute to the sustainability of it as an entity. And I think that message is not really been given to a lot of the newer gardeners or they haven't picked up on the spirit of that. And I think we need to be a lot more direct in communicating that so that people know what they're signing up for because they're like oh 20 bucks for a 20 by 20 plot yeah but that comes with the with a couple of caveats too and i i really think we need to be clear about that um because there's a spirit behind this and it, it is that yeah you have this nice place to have a garden but it's a nice place because we all need to contribute to keep it nice. I'll leave. I'll leave that. Out. I'll let. I'll let anybody else chime in who was there. Okay. I. I did. Deb volunteer to actually be the volunteer coordinator. Or? Yes. Yes. She, she did. Yes. She did. So she's not only putting the spreadsheet together. She's going to keep track of that as well. That's right. All right. So that's excellent. But and she's then, not going to. But she doesn't want to be the person who emails people directly, saying you I, said you I were going to do this and you didn't. I can do that. I don't mind doing that. Okay. So we, yeah. think we need a we need a bad guy to go along with the good guy. I think she'll no. want to work, yes. work with you, Marty. <laughs> the I big stick. A, I can be a good bad guy. Oh, good. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Frank, Frank can wield a and we want you to be a bad, bad, a bad, bad guy. No, that's Frank's job. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. I'll put my, my, my Joe Biden aviator glasses on. <laughs> well, smart, what else, Marjorie? Wasn't Jen um, going to lead the compost effort? Yeah, I, I mentioned the composting. With, yeah, Jen was, Jen Burwell. Uh, she's in B12. Oh, yeah. She's already done some things quietly on her own. Uh, and so we had a whole discussion about the compost areas. And um, I had spoken uh, with Russell up at, at Park Hill about an in-kind donation where they could come down with their their uh, bobcat with the, the front end loader on it. and move that compost because people would just keep piling it the pile keeps coming further and further out there's more compost outside of the compost bin than inside let's put it that way and we're going to be buried in it soon 
Pardon me? We're going to be buried in it soon. Yeah, and they, they did this once before, you know, years ago. Some of you may have known Matty. Um, he had a plot up near B4, I think. So uh, he knew how to drive a Bobcat, so they they just they donated it for us. Um, I don't know how to drive one. I'd like to learn, but not in our area, in somebody else's area. <laughs> But we that when they did that, I, I didn't participate in it, but they pulled everything up, all the fence posts, all the wiring, and piled everything, pushed everything in the back, salvaged what dirt they could, and then started all over again. I I I, uh, I, I think we would want to talk to Jen, get some ideas about how to do that. I think thinning everything out ahead of time. And hauling it off, uh, Deb said she knew somebody with a pickup truck. And uh, I have I have a dump sticker for East Hampton dump. We could use that and um, for the brush dump and take right. stuff up there if we could thin it out some. I have a question for clarification. We're calling this the compost, but is it really being used to create compost? Or no, just Mark, we, we, yeah, we talked about that. No, it, it, it's... You might want to change the name if it's not really meant to call compost. It's uh, meant well, eventually we we are in a, we have talked about creating compost, but the idea, it's a, yes, the idea was. But is that the but is that the current intention? I think it should be made yeah. clear. Correct. I I think we'd have to do eventually we'd have to do a reset on it, um, and really be clear with directions on how to sort whatever it is you're going to put in the compost because yeah. i think jen came up with the idea of of fresh then things that are in 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 middle stage or compost and then something that's usable and yeah, this takes a lot of planning and organization i think having a, a oh, yeah, productive compost heap really takes some you know scientific <laughs> investigation on what makes it work well it just takes education and, and then like participation the odds of it working out to where we could put the compost actually in our gardens, right? I I'm I'm more doubtful than optimistic, but it's still we can use dirt up there in a number of other areas, where like where would you have in mind that the land there is always sinking, and and mm. we can always fill in corridors to keep things level, and it, it's fine. It, it it'll still work out. It's it's. It's better than yeah. the only thing, it's better than what we have. Let's put it that way. But compost, I recommend that we, we get clear on that. Go ahead, I have I have seen many gardens build their compost and it can work. It just takes time and attention. You don't even need that much education if one person knows what they're doing and is leading the effort. Like yeah, you need people to pay attention and do it and before you know it, you have usable compost. I see it happen in the Northampton Garden. We did it when I lived in Sweden. And you know, the, the pile that's there now by the shed, that should not be considered eventual compost. I think that's beyond hope. Agreed. And I don't, know, I don't know what the one looks like at the other end, but the way Jen was talking about it, I think it's extremely doable. It also depends on your own standards. If a gardener has a standard where they don't want any compost that might have some weed seeds in it, then maybe it's not the compost for you. But, That's more complicated than meets the eye. I believe that. Yeah. Well, I've seen it done in quite a few places, and it, it works. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, I mean, yeah, but the, but hypothetically, that's true, Margie. But we need, you know, I don't think Jen should have to take this all on her own shoulder. She needs, she needs some help. She's a committee. Well, and I agree, Mark, I th but I think there are, if, if she's willing to do it, and we have somebody who can coordinate it, and we want to get people who would get on board with it, it's worth a shot. Why not? You know, I'm... I'm I, 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 I would hate to see her get started with it and then it have to kind of drift apart because she can't get enough people to be consistent with participation. Well, that's the same with everything. I mean, how many people? Uh, well, I know, we've seen, and we've seen how that works, and it's not very well. You well, know, the donation garden has had out, real difficulty with that. Why start out with a negative outlook instead of a positive outlook if it doesn't? It's not the negative, Margie. It's it's a, it's based on experience. Uh, you know, watching people have really good intentions and want to give in. And then all of a sudden things don't happen. So I'm just saying, yeah, it can happen, but we need some real commitment by people and not just good intentions. 
Yeah, but there's a lot of for, happening too. There, there's for, a lot of things that could have fallen by the wayside but didn't. Yeah, Jen's, I, Jen, does, Jen deserves to have real good support if she's going to do this. That's my point. Well, oh, I, I agree. And I think we should, uh, again, that's what that meeting the other day was all about was, okay, let's try and do a reset here. And yep. we'll just, I mean, sometimes, you know, people fall in love more than once in life. And, you know, maybe we just got to fall in love again and see if it works. I mean, you know, people get their heart broken multiple times, Mark. So, you know, I, I, so, I, think, so, it's not, I, I so think get it's ready. Not, I, you know, I got my MFA in poetry, so you know, it's like, I'm, I'm but I, I do. I, I think it's worth, it's worth a try, because really, when you think about it, you know, I mean, we've all been gardening here, you know, for we've this group, well, except for Ted rest of us have been here what four years at least so you know but the on average most everybody's pretty new and and like we were saying in the meeting today the, the covid covid kind of made us all every all lazy in different ways and I, and I think it's time for you know how you jerk up awake sometimes and i think maybe that's what we got to do here and hey you know if it if it's if if our uh if we get disappointed again, well, it won't be the first or last time. Well, I, 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 willing I, I to take it on, and I think it, I appreciate you. I appreciate your flexibility. I just think we should plan for success. That's my. I, I think so too. And we have somebody that actually wants to do it. So let's 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 back her up. Yeah, and, and get her the people that she needs to make it happen. And that's why we have a volunteer coordinator who's going to try and create a compost committee, a compost group. If nobody steps up to help, right, then we can rethink it. But we haven't even asked yet. No, and and no. when they ask, they, they need to make that commitment too. And and I'm sure Deb will be thorough at making that happen. She seems to be really have good energy with that. Yeah. Did anybody read her email today? Yes. Well, there's one I responded and I cc'd everybody because I think the first two parts of the email were really great. And um, we can send out to people the jobs that need to be done now. And then she also suggested letting everyone know that there will be a spreadsheet going out next semester. But I, I said, I don't think that's necessary because we don't know who will be here next semester, next semester, next season. I love that semester, Mark. I was a college teacher too. We don't know who's going to be here next well, season. There's always the catch. Uh, wait, 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 let me finish, please. And when I hear the word Google spreadsheet, I'm like, ooh, ooh what's that going to be like? So, and I know there's other people out there who feel that way too. So why put something else that could be overwhelmingly overwhelming people out there who are already overwhelmed? before it's actually going to happen. What, when it's going to happen, we can tell everybody who's there, okay, this is what's happening, this is what you do this season. That's all. Uh, what I was just going to add, Margie, was just that um, I wanted to say that there's a little momentum that's been started, right? And, and, and I think that there's always, there's always going to be a catch-22, you know, How's, how do you do something if you don't know that the other thing's going to go on? So you, you have to take a leap, you know, beyond that. So, you know, at worst, let's put it this way, if you get the ball rolling and then you find you have to get it rolling again, you get it rolling again. But sometimes the ball keeps on rolling. So um, I, I got your point. I saw your response to, to Deb's email. So I understand what you're saying. Um, but I think the, the larger point I wanted to make was that this was, I mean, the, the notion of whether it's a reset or, but just the idea of looking a little bit ahead of ourselves is 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 great. You know, we're at a good point right now to do that. Um, we've got one more, uh, actually two more meetings. Our next one is scheduled for October 6th. Um, and then um, we have, typically we've done a November meeting, uh, which is kind of the end of the end of the year type of thing, but it's, I would suggest that it would be great if we can keep the momentum of the group that met earlier um, uh, this week 
going so that at that November meeting, we have a really good sense about how we're going to pick up, you know, at our initial uh, meeting next next year, which we normally will start with a March, you know, with a March meeting before we put in, bring in everyone in April. So, uh, and it's great to see more, we all agree more people have to get Im involved and we've got some folks who are indicating, you know, that they're willing to do that. I know Sarah is not part of tonight's meeting, but she certainly yeah, she couldn't make it tonight. Yeah, she couldn't do it. Um, but um, but yeah, so we've got some folks, we've got a core going. I think that's a really great sign. So that's very, I think, I think there's good reason to feel optimistic because we haven't in other years at this point, you know, September 1st, August, whatever, taken that step to really look ahead. Uh, to the next year, and this, and we are this year, so that's great, and, and kudos to all those who uh, have been involved in that effort. Um, we are technically at the end of the agenda. Is there any new business? Is there anything that we haven't mentioned? Ted, did you want to? Yeah, I just wanted to, uh, since, since Frank and Mark are going to be working on hoses and nozzles, um, just to get the ball rolling, um, if it's something that we want to try to do before the next meeting, can we authorize that I move ahead with the process, say for opening up a purchase order of not more than $300 based upon recommendations of Mark and Frank? Uh, it would just save us time if that's necessary. Otherwise, we could leave it till I, next I, meeting. No, I would agree with that. I think we should move on as soon as we can with that. Sounds good. Sounds good. I have a question for yes, clarification. So I understand what you're saying, Stephen, about momentum, and I think that's a good idea. So are you saying we should tell the community about the spreadsheet to come or put something out to the community that would... I'm a little confused about how that um, impacts the idea of that Google spreadsheet, or maybe it's okay. not related. Uh, Frank, did you want to? Yeah, Marty, I think we can we can frame that in that we have had that in the past. It's not something new that we've had a volunteer sheet before, and uh, I I think we could just say because of and some inequities uh, in in how much service has and has not been done. We need we're going to reinstitute it. We could do this in Google. We also talked about that what was brought up in that meeting was a sign up sheet where people could physically sign up for something as well. And I think for now, I I think we can just say this is this is going to be coming. Uh, it, it may be one or the other, or it may be both, depending on your access to well, to Google technology. How about I leave out that part and just say we're reinstituting a volunteer sign-up sheet, and then at the beginning of the season we can we can uh, explain that we'll have it on Google and on in the kiosk. That sounds good. How, yeah. how important is it? Uh, to do at it least right to me. Now? I don't know about anybody else. How, how important is it to do right now? Uh, if if we can, if it can be fleshed out a little bit more, and you know, if actually what is proposed to do is presented to the committee, because I, my understanding was that anything like this really should get the blessing of the committee. Uh, and give us a little time uh, before we put something out that's incomplete uh, to, to a certain degree. And people start asking questions and we don't have answers yet, then maybe we should flesh it out a little bit more. That, that, that gets, if I got I agree, Ted, that, that I, gets, I think we're just talking about, we can let them know we're working we're working on something like this right now. And uh, it's, you know, when we, when we finalize it, we'll let people know or something. We just need to let people know. The idea is to just give people the idea that, hey, you, ha you're, you, you have said you would commit hours to this when you sign, when you 
signed the the application yeah. it's in the application and that we're we're just trying to figure out how to make sure that everybody does their part and that the work is done equitably across the board and i think that's a fair thing to say we can leave it a little abstract like that maybe frank did we did we come up to the point where we said that if people don't complete their work requirement that they're uh, not necessarily eligible to have a plot the following year we that severe? yeah that was you you have an obligation to do your to do your volunteer hours and if not then then your 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 access to a plot is in jeopardy the following year. So Deb will, be, Deb will be recording. Will she be recording the hours that people have actually contributed, or do we? Are we? Are we that far yet? That, yeah. That's why that's the Google awesome. Sheet is so nice. And she'll and, and so awesome. she, but she'll collect that information. I assume people or people. We don't know. Uh, we haven't figured that out. That was that we were yeah. still in the the idea stage of that. About flushing it out. Yeah. Yeah, I think should. I'm once, sorry, once Margie, would you, Margie, would you repeat that, please? I said that's what Ted is talking about when he said, you know, when it's complete and the whole thing is flushed out. We right. talked about putting it on the shed door and putting things in the kiosk and having a Google sheet, but there are people who don't do email and people who don't check their email. So we're talking about making it very inclusive and having more options than just a Google spreadsheet. And now that I think of it, I was thinking a Google spreadsheet might deter people from coming back. But if signing up for a job is going to deter people from coming back, maybe they're not the people right. who need to be part of the community garden. That's Bingo. right. Agreed. Bingo. Agreed. I think that's the thinking that was, uh, that was um, discussed uh, the other night. Yeah, I, I just... For clarification point, because everyone's making, I think, a very similar and good point, you know, Ted, Margie, and uh, Frank, and Mark. Um, you know, sometimes where we where we kind of have to scramble a little bit, because to, to the point that Margie is making, well, we really don't know with any kind of surety who's coming, you know, who's back, what our 2023 loss is going to look like. And it's true. So our first communication, public one, is always the application. And what we what has happened in the past is that we, you know, we realize that, oh, well, maybe there are certain things that should be in the application that haven't been, and we kind of try to quickly do some kind of quick work on it before, before Barbara starts handing out, you know, the 2023 application. Uh, and people do, I mean, that's in March, right? So I, my thought, Margie, was that if we are able to work on things now uh, so that by the time we last meet, our last meeting this year, which is November, um, so that we kind of hit the ground running in March. So instead of having to finalize everything in March for the for that public, you know, uh, application, we've already got that piece. Yeah, oh, that that yeah. would be a good way of getting a little bit ahead of the curve. That makes the uh, most right. sense to me completely. That we have the application revised and done in November, and not March. Right. Yeah. And that that will include information about the volunteer system. Yes. Yes. And how to keep yes. track of this yes. information after yes. we've decided yes. what what seems to be best, because it's not going to. I don't think it's going to impact people this year. No. For the rest of this year. No. To any great degree, so we should really take our time, flesh it out. Uh, decide what we really want to put in there, and as uh, Stephen says, hit the ground running. Agreed. I think it's a really good idea. Because, I mean, think about this summer. It's the opposite of last summer. Last summer, it rained forever. This summer, it was like this, we were living in Arizona. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? And yeah. there were reasons that people weren't out in their gardens. They're not crazy like me, so... Uh, <laughs> Not growing yeah, I, I don't care about the heat. No. <laughs> Soak it up, man. It makes my bones stronger. But no, I, I vitamin D. It's a funny. I know, but I mean, it's You're a, so it's, it's, You're it's so a weird. Young, this was the exact opposite of last summer, where. I'm not making excuses for people. It's just you know it cools off at the end of the day, and it's pretty nice up there in the morning. So. Yep, that's right. 
Yep. Okay. Good. It's been a good year. There's some beautiful things walking through. They really, I mean, maybe a drought is better than a deluge, but I, I prefer I prefer this year to last year. Any 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 time. Yeah, I. Any yeah. Time. Yeah. That's my best year. That's my best year here, actually. Yeah, because uh, as long as we have the water, it's great. If you water you on a year like this, you will have a beautiful garden. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, if there, so yeah, one more, one more I'm going to yeah. put together a brief, um, like takeaway from this meeting to send to gardeners. Would you like me to send it to the committee first, or should I just send it out? What do y'all think? Well, it, I mean, to, to run it past us for. Any yeah, you, comments? Just so yeah, you could do it. You could do that, Margie. We'll send it right back. Respond right and away. We'll, so we'll reply, you know, by next day at the latest, and then you can. I, that's, right. that's right. That's right. That's right. I don't need to do that. I'm quite confident that my message will be um, on point, but I want to be sure that it's everyone agrees to what I'm putting out there. I I think that's sure. a good idea. Okay. Uh, okay. Yep. And Wanda, you reminded me. I wanted to thank you because you you've been doing this sense of the you know this this communication out the which is very useful. Um, and I just to be to just to make sure that there wasn't confusion when I kind of came back and was recovered enough to try to pull things together for this meeting. And I was searching for the minutes part. There is a little you know the minutes for the purposes of our a public committee. It's just to reflect who attended, you know, the kind of things, when did the meeting start, who attended, what was the, you know, what was the discussion, what was the agenda, et cetera, which is uh, a part of what you do get out, it, it, of course, it reflects that, but it isn't technically a minute. So we still have to generate right. minutes to you, you appreciate that. I, and I want to thank you for, for your communications there too. So oh, anyway, Eric and I are all over this one. So we're going to, okay. we're going to get Nice set of minutes now. You know, have it all set for our next meeting, which is I meant. Stephen, do I do we need a motion on the um, the three hundred dollar purchase order, perhaps with Tracker no, Supply? Because what you're doing is exploring the possibility of opening. It. If if we, well, let's be very clear. We would have to vote to approve any monies that go into it if it was if it was established in advance of doing that that's true uh we could take a special vote if it's if it's if if all this has to be done before our next meeting it'd be nice i, I was just it saying does. to allow me to to actually begin work for a 300 dollar purchase order or 250 whatever mark and frank would come up with and we can put a limit on it to get started and th then I can move ahead. Otherwise, I really can't go to Barber and start. Okay. Uh, thank doing you, anything. Ted. Okay, here's thank you for that point. Here's, here's how I see it. Uh, in terms of your creating that count, okay, I don't, that doesn't require, that's a sense of the body that doesn't require a vote. In, in respect to you putting any dollars in it, that requires a vote. So if, if, if they're both together, the creation and putting 300 or whatever it is, we have to vote that $300. Okay, so, I mean, that's, I guess that's what I'm asking. Yes, uh, so, so let's be very clear. It, or if we can vote for a maximum, and if we can come, if uh, Mark and Frank come in with less than $300, 250, that whatever it is, uh, but I would, I would say put a maximum of $300 and, because I will, I have to give them to open this to get this thing moving. I have to give Barber an amount. Yeah, uh, yeah, Frank. Don't we want right. to buy these this year? If so, uh, we, we would want to approve that three hundred right away. There, well, there's not, always got to be paperwork between the potential vendor and the city, right, in order to even establish it. Regardless of the money, if you're saying that we can't even get that process going without saying Barber, we intend to place X number of X amount of dollars in that account should it be created. If that's the case, then I recommend um, that we should vote. 
we should take a vote for it yeah. um, for any money, be it three hundred or whatever. Yeah, so, why not? So, 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 I agree. Can we I, I think we should. I'm sorry, Margie. Go ahead. Well, can we vote now? Yeah. Yeah. No, I course. think we should. Yeah. I, I I didn't call for a vote earlier because I didn't know that the two were linked like that. I just thought that Ted was going to explore. That didn't require a vote of approval. Uh, that was a sense of the body. Uh, yeah, uh, no, let's like, let's move on it. Let's move we'll on keep it. If we're, rolling, three, if we're putting any vote, then we have to vote that in. Yeah, I don't know if they already have something set up with Tractor Supply and they just add us on to it, as they do with That's these fine. other, with Obershaw. Well, Shop if they do, then it just makes it easier. But any of it, okay, yeah. so if there's a desire to move ahead and place some money in that account for the purposes of purchasing things forthwith, then we need a motion for that and a vote. Uh, I'm going to put $300 into an account for Tractor okay, Supply. Mark, is, Mark moves to 300 Okay. Is there a second? Second. Okay, okay. Frank. I'll let Margie second. All right, Margie gets the second. Yay. Yay. <laughs> and you are the co seconder. Co seconds. Co seconds. <laughs> so, okay, for a tractor. Okay, there's a motion to move. There's a second. All in favor of. Uh, uh, of moving three hundred dollars into aye. a potential account, it's not a real account yet. Potential to say aye. 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 Anyone, in, anyone in opposition? You are Karen. Oop. I, I I caught you with a yes first, and now okay, you, you're good. I'm, I'm up. I'm good. I with, with this vote, I I can go down and talk to Barbara okay. next week. Okay. And, well, I'm gonna uh, report. I'm going to report the vote as unanimous. Okay. If you're opposed, then you can carry water to your block with a five-gallon bucket. <laughs> <laughs> we we had to do that in Northampton when a uh, a faucet was destroyed. Somebody hit it with their car, and for several mm. years we carried five-gallon buckets Oof. to a from a tap that was like. I don't know, a hundred feet away or more. I'm glad I was young and strong. I couldn't do that now. <laughs> I, I I carried water from the brook in Amherst to my community garden for ten oh, yeah. years. It was <laughs> a muscle builder. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the other part of Frank's uh, suggestion was that you have to use a bucket, and we ain't going to give you a bucket either. <laughs> well, we do have buckets. Well, we do. Have buckets. <laughs> we do. I think in the shed we got. We them. do. We, yeah, we bought them. Yeah, we have some buckets. We got our buckets. Okay, I, right. I might be able to get some more eventually uh, from uh, some custodians somewhere. I'll, I'll leave it. Uh, do we need buckets? I can get buckets. My son's a carpenter and he's always emptying buckets of something. Okay. Never heard of a couple more five-gallon buckets. They come sure. in handy. Okay. We'll take them. Before I figure out how it is to end the meeting, I also see that everyone see Karen's uh, chat here of putting plastic down to start. It, yes. it goes, I have to be a real speed reader to uh, catch it. It's on no, the Karen, Karen I, yeah. I, would, I would say a no on the plastic. Um, because? Yeah, it, it tears and breaks down and then it gets mixed up in everything else. Um, plastic, well, plastic, anyway. And, and and the other, what we did so far, and the other plot is is working. Um, there's a couple of pieces that are getting up, but I I would, I would say we probably want to stay away from plastic. It it just it breaks down. It the the the, the winter temperatures especially uh, make it brittle, and then it just becomes a a byproduct. If we can okay. avoid it. That'd be great. Well, Thanks so anyway, Karen. Okay. Well, 837 is the time now. Uh, there's a motion uh, on the floor. I take it to adjourn. Is there? So moved. Yes. Uh, Can, I Mark Can I ask one oh. more question? Can I ask one more question? Yes. Sarah King expressed some confusion about her role because she wasn't clear, Stephen, if you are retiring or not. Oh, okay. Well, I've... I've did you speak with her? Is this as of the other day? 
Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So no, and 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 Karen, and Sarah and I have met. And we're gonna we're gonna meet with Barbara, etc. So, you know, the idea here is to do a transition. Okay. okay. So that instead of just you'll figure it out. You know, the beginning of the year. Now she's kind of left with it and has to figure out. We're we're gonna we're gonna march through each and every piece of it. So I'm very happy that Good. Sarah stepped up here. Yeah. Uh, and like I said, our yeah. next our next plan is to meet with Barbara directly. Um, and yeah, so I'm glad if there's any computer. No, it just made more sense than just uh, you know to try to start that now. So um, thank yeah. you. I mentioned at the very beginning of the year, my intent has been to transition so that next year we uh, we're, we're starting in a different place. So I'm I'm very happy about that. And, uh, and to clarify, next year is 2023. Yes, what I say it is 2023. Uh, okay, so it is eight. Now it's now it's eight thirty-eight. Uh, is there a motion okay. to adjourn? So moved. Second. Mark has moved adjourned. Second. Second. Oh, Karen. Karen gets a second here. Karen gets a second. <laughs> now, um, the only thing is, I think I know what I'm doing. I think I hit this button to stop the recording. Uh, Eric, the only other button I see that's red uh, is the one that says "Leave Call," which I take it would probably yep. cut this whole, you know, end this whole thing for everybody. Is that? True. Um, I think just, that we'll just, out, like, just you'll leave if you do that, but stop the recording before you do that. And okay. it, hopefully it'll tell you where it was saved. Okay. Uh, and then you'll be able to find it. And, and then hopefully also last week's you'll find in there also. <laughs> All right. We'll have to, we'll, we'll have to, last one. Right. All right. So wait, we have to wait a second. All in, all in favor of a German was, was I. Okay. At 838. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to stop the recording. This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers.